Howdy friends, this is Lance. I'm going to talk a little bit about what do you do if you run an online session using Google Meet, you save the recording, and then you want it available for students to be able to access offline. Okay, so what's going to need to happen is you're going to need to run the session, and then there's going to be a change that needs to be made to the video itself. So that way, students, if they need to access it offline, could get online, get to their assignments, and then download it for offline access later. Okay, so I gave some directions. I gave the title. I'm going to set a due date. Always set due dates. Very important. I'm going to set a topic. Also very important for organization purposes. Um, you can set a point total. I'll just make this worth 10. There we go. And I can choose my students and how many classes I want this to go to. All right. I'm going to add my Google Slides presentation. And since I just recently edited it, it should be right here. I'll go ahead and add that. And I want each student to have a copy. I'll go to my drive, meet recordings, and my most recent one should arrive right here. There we go. Add, and I'm gonna make it that students can view it, okay? Now, the reason that I do that instead of making a copy for each student is just because if you make a copy for each student, then you're gonna get a copy of your video from every single student that is in your class, and that really clutters up Google Drive. And so we don't necessarily want that either. I'll assign this to students. And now they should receive it. I'm going to switch to my student screen here. All right, and here is the student screen. I'm going to look at the assignment itself and the student would be able to receive the slides and participate. So let's say that they need this available offline. So Google Slides does work offline on a Chromebook. And so I don't have to worry about that. The only problem is this video is not going to work offline because even though it's in the slide presentation, it's a separate file and videos do not naturally do so. It just doesn't work. To get around that, what I did was I also made it available in the assignment itself. So when I went to the assignment, what you'll notice is there is no option to actually download this video. And there's a reason for that. So this is a very important step. If you wanna make Google Meet sessions that you run with your students and you wanna make them available for offline access for your students that do not have internet, here's what you have to do. I'm gonna go first to this Google Meet file as the teacher. So here I am as the teacher. I'm gonna to go to the video itself and you'll see as the teacher, I have a download option. The students don't. So I need to change that. I need to go to the share option. And then once I'm in the share option, you'll see that there's an advanced option. And when I go to the advanced option, you'll see that there is a disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. So if you want it available for students to access offline, you have to uncheck that button in the share settings of your actual video. Now I'll hit done. I'm going to close out and go back to my student screen here. And now as the student, if I go into that assignment and open up the video, the student now has the capability of downloading it. Like I said, it's very important that I go into the share settings and adjust that. Google Meet Sessions by default will have the capability of downloading videos disabled. So you have to uncheck that option so that way students can actually download it. Now that I hit this button, what will happen is I as a student have the option to download. It'll go into my downloads folder. There it went. If I go into my files app, It'll be in my downloads. There's the video ready and available for me to access offline. Now, just remember, downloads is not a permanent location. Eventually, these files do disappear. OK, and it's also not secure. If your computer gets wiped out in any way, shape or form, then what ends up happening is you lose any files that are in your downloads. So it's not a secure location, but it is a temporary location. So if students need this video for a longer period of time, I suggest that they move it into another file location. But if they just need to watch it for one lesson and they don't need to access it again, the downloads location will work just fine. All right, and that is a quick overview of how do you make Google Meet recordings available offline for students to download from Google Classroom onto a Chromebook.